In today's video, we will be going through the process of connecting Visual Studio Code to Google Cloud VM instance using SSH. So let's get to it. All right. So like I mentioned in today's video, we will be going through the process of connecting Visual Studio Code to GCP VM instance using SSH. Okay. So the first thing that we need to do is create our compute instance. Uh, but you can also use an existing instance if you have one so i'm just going to quickly create an instance in gcp and i'm going to call this remote ssh uh, maybe vm and for the machine configuration i'm going to choose e2 and i will choose uh, the e2 small you can also choose the micro one or i choose from any of these other ones but i'm just going to use this one for now uh, and that's it. I'm going to hit create for this. I'm just going to leave the rest of the defaults and I will create this instance. So this should take um, not long to start it up. So we'll come back when it's ready. Okay, so our VM instance has now been created and you can see the status here is now running. Okay, so we have our VM instance ready. So then the next step that we need to do is go to Visual Studio Code and establish the remote connections to this remote instance right here. So to do that, uh, we'll go ahead and open our Visual Studio Code. So I'm just going to open Visual Studio Code here. And again, if you don't have Visual Studio Code installed, you can go ahead and install it from the internet. So if you just type VS Code install, or download you should be able to just download it directly from uh, this visual uh, studio uh, website here um, i also did another video where i went through the process of installing uh, visual studio code so you can take a look into that video as well but once you have visual studio code installed um, so just open it up and go to extensions so if you go to extensions the extension that we want to install is for remote ssh so just uh, look for remote ssh and you sh should be able to see a number of options here the one that we want to install is this one for uh, remote ssh from microsoft and you can see see here it has a lot of uh, stars or downloads uh, currently sitting at 22.9 million so we'll go ahead and install this uh, so this should not take long and i think it should be good to go uh, we can see this icon here for remote explorer so that's the one that we will use so i'm just going to close this now for now and uh you can open this if you open this remote explorer here you will see that we have ssh now available here okay so uh we have installed our extension all right so now that we have our remote ssh extension installed the next thing that we need to do is go to terminal and open new terminal and enter this command okay check cloud compute config ssh so this command will create our ssh configuration file that will enable us to connect to our vm instance okay so let's go ahead and enter that okay so once you do that you will see here that it says you should now be able to use ssh with your instances so this basically means that our configuration file has been successfully created and we should now be able to connect to our vm instance now take a note that i use this g cloud and this is basically g cloud cli command that you can run locally to interact with your gcp services i previously made a video where i went through the process of installing google cloud cli on mac os environment so if you don't have g cloud installed on your machine definitely take a look into this video and follow the steps and you should be able to install g cloud in your environment okay so now that we have our configurations ready, the next thing that we'll do is basically go to your remote explorer here and refresh this. Once you do that, you will see this server now showing up. And the next thing that you will need to do is basically click here where it says connect. And uh, it will ask you here, what is the platform for your remote host? In this case, we created a Linux machine. So I'm just going to select that. And basically we just need to hit continue okay so it's going to download our vs code server and if things are good we should be able to connect to our vm instance so it looks like things are looking good so all we have to do is expand here and you can also see that there's a check mark button next to this a remote instance so this basically means that 
we are able now to connect to our VM instance. Okay, so we can go ahead and open it. And for that, I'm just going to go to uh, the Explorer here and we will open a folder from our VM instance. So you can see this is the directory within your VM instance. So we'll just open it from VS Code and I'm just going to do that. Okay. And we will trust it. All right, so we are able now to browse files within our VM instance from Visual Studio Code. Okay, so you can see we have our SSH folder, our PashRC folder, profile folder, and these are files that are sitting in our VM instance. So we can also open terminal and we should be able to run commands from our terminal as if we were inside our VM instance. So you can see this is our remote instance and we are currently connected to it. So you can just uh, print your working directory and the files that are within uh, that directory as well. Okay. So basically from here, we can determine that we have successfully uh, SSH into our VM instance. Okay. So the other thing that I also wanted to show you in this video is how you can keep your connections from your VS code to your VM instance stable. And to do that, we will be applying two settings here. The first one is uh, within our VM instance and the other one is a setting that we need to apply to our local SSH configurations. Okay, so in our VM machine, we need to go to uh, this SSH config file and to do that, we can copy this command here. So we will just go there and I will paste this right here. So you can use nano as your editor or you can also use vi so i'm just going to use vi so basically go to sudo vi and open this configuration file here and then we just hit if you hit i on your keyboard uh, this will allow you to edit this file and scroll to the bottom and you will see uh, there is this um setting already applied for client alive interval currently uh, this one is set to 120 I will leave it at, one, at, at 120 and the other one that we need to add is this one for client alive count max and we will put this one to three okay so basically just do that and hit escape and wq so this will save that configuration file and after that we need to restart our uh, system CL so just copy this one here and paste it right here okay so that will apply that configuration and reset our server and then the the other place that you can also apply this is within your SSH configuration file that was created when you did your uh, config SSH so to do that just go to your local home users so it will be in your users directory and if you let's just enlarge this if you go to your ssh and go to compute and open that so this is that configuration file and we need to also add this too so i'm just going to add this too and we will paste it right here just format it properly Okay, so we will format this and we will set this to 120. And also we will set uh, this other one to three, like so. And we will save it. Okay, so what these settings will do is to make sure that your connection from your VS code to your remote server is not dropped. I ran into this issue where after every five minutes, my connections was getting disconnected. Okay, so if you apply these configurations, your connections should be stable. Okay, all right. So now we have that one ready. The other thing that I wanted to show you in this video is how you can use Visual Studio Code for your development while still connected to your VM instance. And the use case I had for you in this video is how you can use Python to read files from your Google Cloud Storage account. So to do that, let's check if Python is installed in our VM machine. So we do have Python 3 installed. And let's also check if we have pip installed as well. Doesn't seem like we have pip, so we'll go ahead and install pip. So we'll do sudo apt install pip. So this will install pip in our uh, VM instance. Okay, so pip 
is now installed in our VM instance. The next thing that we need to do is to create. So I'm just going to create a folder here for dev. I'll call it dev. Okay, so inside our dev folder, we will create our file and this one we will call it load from gcs and this will be a notebook okay so we'll call it ipython notebook like so all right so this will create our ipython notebook now and the next thing that we need to do here is to import pandas so we'll go and say import pandas as pd okay and run it all right so if you see here it's asking us to choose our extension uh, so we will install this jupyter notebook so this is going to install jupyter extension as well as python extension within our vs studio code okay so our python and jupyter notebook extensions have been installed and here it's asking you to choose your python environment so we will just go ahead and hit python environment and for this we will choose to create a new python environment so this basically will create us a virtual environment where our files will be stored okay where our libraries will be stored and i'm just going to choose this one this first one here i'm going to click okay all right so our vm uh, environment is now being created and also ipython kernel as well so we'll let this ones run and once it's done we will go ahead and uh, install our libraries all right so we now have uh, this installed so you can see when you run this it's complaining that it's not able to recognize pandas so we do need to switch into our uh, virtual environment so this that is this one right here so we will go back here and we need to activate our virtual environment so dot v and v pin activate so this will activate our virtual environment and uh, this should be empty for now i think it's not there are some libraries there but i don't think we have pandas so we will go ahead and install pandas okay so this is going to install pandas okay so pandas has been installed now so if you go back to our code and execute that code again so if you just run this this will not throw an error so this one is running properly now and the next thing that we need to do basically is to connect uh, i'm just going to paste this code here that we'll read from our from our gcs file what this code is basically doing is using pandas to read a file from our gcs bucket and output the contents for that file before we execute this file we need to install another library here this one for pandas gcs fs so i'm going to paste that one right here and we will enter this and uh, remember this is going to install this library within our vm uh, environment okay so this one has completed running now and we switch back to our notebook and we execute this code okay all right so we can see that we are able now to read our data here and uh, the output for this doesn't seem to be so pretty so we can uh, do another file here actually we can use display i think we can use display and we can uh, display our data frame right here okay so you can see now this one looks a bit better we can also just display the first 10 records for this as well okay All right so we can now see our data and we can see the first records for this file uh, are displayed on our fs studio code all right guys so as you can see we are able to successfully connect our visual studio code to our vm instance using remote ssh and we are also able to do some development within visual studio code while we are still connected to our remote instance all right guys so that's the process of connecting visual studio code to your vm instance using remote ssh and if you love using visual studio code you can do your development now while connected to your vm 
instance okay so just a quick recap on this video we created our firm instance we installed our remote ssh in visual studio code and we connected to our firm instance after creating our configuration file and once we were able to do that we went ahead and created this basic python notebook here which uses pandas to read files from our google cloud storage this is just one example but you can do a lot from here but the idea for this video was to show you how you can connect from visual studio code to your vm instance using remote ssh i hope you found this video helpful and if you did please do give thumbs up and subscribe to the channel all right guys that's all for today bye bye